How's it going? This is Jay with Act Now Education, the back with another great resource. I'm here with IBM Map Mike Bianchi. He is the Senior Director for uh, Education and Career Training. How's it going, Mike? It's going well, Jay. Uh, thank you again for the invitation. Can you go into a little bit about O2O, Onward to Opportunity? Onward to Opportunity is a, a DOD skill bridge program, otherwise known for the Army and Marine Corps as a career skills program. What we do is we provide industry validated training and certification that aligns with in-demand career tracks. So what we've done since 2015 with support of the Institute for Veteran Military Families at Syracuse University and the Schultz Family Foundation and investment from Howard and Sherry Schultz in the post-service lives of the military community. We've been able to build a program that offers that training, the career skills training, as well as the industry credential training. We do that at no cost to the service members. Now, as a DOD skill bridge program, we're limited to the transitioning service members to the last 180 days of service. But we do also enroll members of the National Guard and Reserve. We also enroll veterans with honorable discharge. We enroll spouses of all of those populations. But we also enroll uh, nearly a thousand folks per month in an all online aspect that are supported by an enrollment advising team here at Syracuse University. So as far as some of these certifications, what type of experience and do you see any benefit as far as the job market with these certifications? We know that on average, you know, a service member or any person who achieves a certification is going to be able to negotiate a higher salary rate. It also makes them more competitive as they're moving into the marketplace. But I would say that equally important to what the work that we do is we provide some career skills training to augment what the service member goes through. That career skills training is really talking about corporate culture, personal branding. You know, we talk about emotional intelligence in the workplace. You know, achieving a certification is great if it doesn't lead to meaningful employment, then it's just a certification. So a number of our participants who enter into the program take advantage of that career skills training and oftentimes are able to achieve employment before they even receive a certification. I know some of these certifications may not be in someone's level of expertise. Is there like starter certifications or certifications that they can kind of dive into? You know, we actually um, have invested very heavily in an enrollment team that will help and assist. So we have folks on the ground for those participants that are able to enroll in a, in a physical location. And oftentimes they serve as a bit of a career coach. Our enrollment team will also help guide participants in the right direction. But that's also part of what our Onward to Your Career does, as those career skills that I talked about. We talk about what it means to have meaningful employment. And so when it comes to the level, we have uh, everyone from E3 to O6 and actually a couple of O7 graduates from our program. So uh, I think we can talk now about the tracks that we have. So we have a business management track, an information technology track, the business management track has, you know, Lean Six Sigma, you know, a very popular uh, project management. But with the project management, we've introduced a certified associate's project, which is for those that don't meet the requirements from the Project Management Institute, they're able to take that stepping stone and to, to go for that certified associates uh, in the project management. And we do the same for the professional human resource certification where there's an APHR. So, you know, the level that you need to have for each of those, it varies. And those certifying bodies set those requirements themselves. Uh, this is something that we help and assist the participants in seeing if they have the requirements to meet the certification to sit for the exam, but also to sort of guide them. So if you don't have enough of the experience or the hours in project management that you might need, we would move you or advise you towards the certified associate professional. And then our next track is information technology. And so we have certifications in there over a dozen that would be from beginner to a more advanced. Uh, for example, we have a partnership with Cisco Cyber Vets, and we're often able to move the participants into a more advanced coursework from there. So as far as the IVMF and O2O, do you have any upcoming events or webinars that people can learn more or where they can find out more information? We do. As we've grown as a program, um, not just on which opportunity, but IVMF has also invested very heavily for their other programs and services. We're a leading institute for policy and research. 
Um, we also have our entrepreneurship boot camp for veterans um, that we run. And there's a consortium of about 12 schools. So with the, all the impact that we have with our research and analytics, our entrepreneurship, our career training, as well as our community services portfolio with America Serves, we wanted to introduce an alumni program. So there's a very robust alumni program. And with that will come a series of resources that are available to you. And they are gonna be vet nets, webinars. And in addition to that, as you go to the website and look for those additional informations, if you are located at one of our military installations, there are a number of opportunities that each of our programs at those installations run with community partners from localized networking events, employer panels, employer spotlights. So I would encourage you to take a look at the Onward to Opportunity page. And if you're located near one of our installations, we cover the West Coast. We're at Fort Carson, Fort Camp. We're at Camp Pendleton, San Diego. We're all the way out in Hawaii as well. Fort Bragg, Camp Lejeune, Fort Drum, the National Capital Region uh, in the D.C. area. All those locations actually run a number of external events per quarter that would be of interest to somebody who is, is looking to take advantage of the educational programs, learn more, become more familiar with the employment landscape. All these things are out there for you. So as an Army vet, what would you tell someone that's transitioning or a veteran as a, a key point of advice? So preparation. You know, if you're not working your transition, you know, one to two years before you leave the service, it could lead to some challenges for you, both for employment and potentially, you know, with the, the challenge of coming with that, that could be financial challenges. So preparation, education, awareness, and relying on those that have gone before you to really help mentor you through the process. You know, we all know people that worked until the last day. And then we know those people that had difficult time receiving employment afterwards. And it's fantastic. I mean, it's what we do. It's what makes us who we are is that devotion to the job, to the mission, to getting things done. But as you're leaving the service, you know, there will be somebody behind you and then reach back. Before I retired, I listened to a speech from General Dempsey at the time. And I thought he had some powerful words that said, your service doesn't end when you hang your uniform up. What are you going to do to have an impact? So for those of you that have successfully transitioned or will successfully transition, it's giving back. It's giving back and going back to the folks that you left behind in the service and becoming their guide through their transition process. That is golden. I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate your time, Mike, um, and the folks at IBMF. Thank you for doing this for us. Please reach out to Mike, his team, learn more about it, set yourself up for success. Thanks again, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate you having me.